Okay, I'm using Ubuntu here 11.10. I'm in my home folder inside of my documents folder inside a folder called essays and inside of essays I have a couple of uh, text files called essay 1, 2, 3, and 4. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, let's say, back to root. So I'll do cd change directory space forward slash hit enter and now I'm back in root directory. I can do an ls command and see all of the root directories that exist in the root folder. This is as high up in the directory tree as you can go. Now I'm going to try to uh, search for, I want to search for and find let's say my sa dot my sa2.txt file, right? So how do we search for files in um, Linux in the bash shell from the command line? Well, we can do it with a command called locate. So we could type locate, right, and then the name of the file that we want to search for, which in this case would be sa2.txt. Now, before we issue our locate command, what we want to do is index all the files in our system. And we can do that with this command, the update db command, which basically stands, I guess, for update database, right? So let's type it in, update db, and you can see that um, we, get a, we get a response back from, um, from, the, uh, from the prompt that says, update db cannot open a temporary file for the root var lib mlocate mlocate database. So we're unable to open it. Well, that's probably because we need to have administrative or root permissions to access this file. So to elevate our permissions from just our user permissions, what we can do is we can do a sudo command, right? sudo command, and then type the command we want to issue, update db, right? We hit enter, and we're going to have to put in our password. So I'll do that. And you won't be able to see your password as you type it in. You just have to assume that you've typed it correctly. And I didn't get a response. And if you don't get a response, um, if you don't get a response from the, the system, that's a good thing. That means there's no error. Notice that when I put in the update db command and it didn't work, I got an error message essentially. And I got a response and tried to tell me, hey, something's gone wrong here. We couldn't access this file. But now, when I elevated my permissions by typing sudo space update db, I put in my password and then I get no response. That's a good sign. So that means that the update database probably worked and now my files are being indexed or have been indexed. This can take a long time if you have a lot of files on your system. Now this install of Ubuntu is brand new so I don't have a lot of files so it was very quick. Um, anyway now I can type locate sa2.txt and let's see if it can find it. Alright and there it is instantly right it says home, Dan, documents, essays, sa2.txt, right? What I can also do is I can type locate and space, and then I can put, let's say I am searching for a file and I don't know the exact name of the file, right? So I, I don't know that it, the name of the file is sa2 per se. I can put in an asterisk and then type e-s-s-a-y and see, and then another asterisk and then get all files that have E-S-S-A-Y in the title, right? Hit enter, and sure enough, it shows me the directory, not just the files, but it shows me the directory essays. It shows me the my new name SA1 text, and then SA1, 2, 3, and 4, because they all have E-S-S-A-Y in the name of the uh, title or directory. So that's the um, locate command, but using um, asterisks in the okay another um, command that uh, we can talk about is the file command so what I'm gonna do is I will say um, put in the command here file space and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this path here to this SA4 file and I'll just right click on it and copy it right and then I'll go here and right click and paste it right so I'm saying, hey, f you do the file command on, and this is an absolute path, right? Root, home, dan, documents, essays, essay4, and hit enter, and it'll tell you the type of file it is. 
So it says that SA4 is an ASCII text file, right? But if we go and change directories into the root bin folder, right? This is where programs are. Let's do an ls command. You can see that there are a lot of programs in this um, folder. In other words, let's take a look here. Uh, for instance, there's nano, right? Um, there's the, the less command, which is an actual program, right? That's a program. Um, there's the mkdir command, which is a program, right? Um, so uh, let's let's run that command and we'll say file and we'll say root bin forward slash mkdir and hit enter and it says mkdir elf 32-bit lsb executable intel version 1 dynamically linked uses shared libs shared libraries for the GNU Linux 2.6.15 strip. So you can see it's not an ASCII text file, but it is a 32-bit uh, LSB executable program. So you can see that uh, that's a big difference than, um, than just a text file, and it tells us what kind of file it is. Let's see here. Um, we'll say file, and we'll run it on nano. Okay, do it on nano, and you get the same thing. We know that Nano is a program that we use to edit text, and sure enough, there it is. It's an executable file. And what I'd like to do is run it on some images. Let's see if there's some images we could run it on. How do we find images on the computer? Well, we'll type locate, space, asterisk, maybe we'll say dot jpg, asterisk for dot jpeg, and we get a bunch of JPEGs, right? There's one called uh, Puppy, right? Or Sky, right? So we'll say Puppy. We'll copy this and copy it, right? And we'll say File Command and then we'll paste it. Let's see what it says about this image file. Hit Enter and you can see that it says JPEG Image Data JFIF Standard 1.01. So it tells us that this file is an image file in the search term.